Hi, I'm Jim and welcome back. And today we're going to start talking about crank position sensors because although I've been in, touched on this a couple of episodes ago when I first talked about fuel injecting the Cortina, this is more the practical side of it. So uh, in the past, you would have something like this, a trigger wheel. You can buy these off the shelf, uh, universal fit. Um, this one came with a crank pulley that I bought a few years back. Uh, because I wanted it was a steel pulley rather than it being like the the traditional uh, welded type, which are a bit bit weak. Um, I didn't. End, I used that pulley for a bit, then I realised that somebody had marked it um, for timing, but it was incorrect for the Cortina. I could never get it to run right, so sacked it off. Went back to this. Anyway, what norm people would normally do is mount this to this in a position um, and that's okay it works there are a few kits out there uh, I think webcon do one which is actually quite expensive it's 180 quid all in and one thing I've noticed is the center hole for the trigger wheel is quite small and you literally bolt use the crank bolt to pin these two together and that to me seems like it's open to that to a bit of slippage on the trigger wheel could end up throwing your timing out and it could throw it out whenever you know the uh you could mount these together uh so you've got some screw you've got some holes here you've got some holes here assuming they align you could bolt this together and go on your merry way but i don't like the idea of that because at some point these may come these might come loose and you don't want either of these getting free particularly when you're right up in the revs so I was having to think about what to do and I was doing a bit of Googling and found a company called QED Motorsport who make uh, fuel injection kits for Lotus Twin Cams. So essentially it's the same short block. Granted, there's a few special bits and we're not going to go into that. But what they do make is this and it's a steel billet pulley. So this is all one piece of steel that's been machined and it has 36 teeth. Now, one of these teeth needs removing actually quite weighty um so i might do something about that anyway um what we can do is basically mount this to the engine figure out where the timing mark needs to be which i'll come on to in a second and remove the tooth easy enough now i was going to make a bracket to to sit the sensor uh where is it that's my sensor so this is a ford z-tech um, crank position sensor off the shelf eBay item. Now I was going to spend some time, make a bracket, do all that good stuff. And then whilst I was on QED's website, they sell one already that mounts onto the sump. And that is, it was about 30, 40 quid. And I thought by the time I've done messing around, spent weeks doing it, made a bracket, did a load of printing, who knows what, I'm just going to buy that. So that's what I've done. Um, one thing I have noticed is this is uh, plated, uh, which is great because that's what I wanted anyway. Um, what I will need to do is plate this because this will start going rusty um, the minute I stop oiling it. So that is definitely something I need to do in the future. But that's not about the trigger wheel right now. So what we need to do is firstly you need to move around to the front of the car in a bit. Uh, mount this up so that like I say this goes on the sump um, goes on the sump fit the sensor like so that's quite a nice fit that's one thing I do like that is a real nice tight fit so there is a bolt hole there for it easy enough um, get that mounted get the crank position sorry get the crank uh, pulley mounted set it to top dead center so fortunately uh, one thing I do know is the keyway here is for top dead center so that's a good bit of information um, I've also got a DTI gauge to get top dead center so I'm going to set it at top dead center on first turning the engine clockwise and I'm going to turn it all the way anti-clockwise to get another check basically i want to try and get rid of a bit of the lash in 
between the crank and whatever else. So just want to make sure I've got top dead center exactly where I need it. Get it properly set, number one. And then I need to mark where this sensor, what tooth this sensor is pointing to at that time. Because that will be top dead center. Now, I've done a bit more research on this, and you can set the timing mark wherever you want in relation to number one. So I've seen people do it before top dead center. I've seen people do it after. Now, a lot of people tend to do it 90 degrees before. So um, what we'll do, set it to zero, and then turn the engine back 90 degrees. And that tooth that is then pointing at this will be the tooth I need to remove. Uh, but whilst I'm also doing that, I'm going to go before 10 degrees before top dead center and put a mark on the lip of this pulley here, this side, because that will be the timing mark that relates to the timing mark on the engine cover um, or the cam cover. So that when I do go to set this up, I can actually use the old timing light to just basically, you know, what should I, what should I be seeing? Um, whether I use it or not, I don't know, but now since I'm doing it, I might as well put a mark on there. So that's kind of it. Um, you will need the cylinder head off if you're going to do this. You can do it with the cylinder head in, but it's more of a pain. Um, but fortunately, cylinder head's already off. So what I need to do is clear some rubbish out of the way here. So I can push the car back all the way and then go around the front and get all this set up. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I got the old pulley off. I have no idea why it got stuck the way it did. But I mean, that thing is absolutely, well, it's fucked, isn't it? That's, that's not going again bit of a shame um, but that does show how flimsy these are and also that I need a new um, puller because that thing is an absolute toss so let's get on with timing everything up uh, getting TDC marked out all the other good stuff so back to the front of the engine the bracket went on easily pretty happy with that and next up, it's just setting up the engine for TDC. So I've got the uh, um, DTI gauge out. And what I'm just doing is getting it set up. So basically, so I can get a read in and make it reliable for TDC. Um, it's been a while since I've set one of these up. So, uh, yeah, it's just taken me a while. So after all that drama, I've got everything fitted. Brackets on, pulleys on. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, one thing I have noticed that's going to be difficult, and that is how do you change the pulley? So I reckon it'll be a case of sensor off, which, you know, take the sensor off, put the pull, put the, you know, your belt on, and then go again. Because um, I don't fancy doing that. If I, have to, if I have to do this at the side of the road, taking that off is going to be a real pain. Um, but anyway, that's problem for the future so next up is get the TDC marked out and then we can go from there yeah really happy with it so far right everything's set so that's TDC everything's level there I've marked down on pulley which tooth is top dead center uh, so what I need to do now is put this I'm assuming put this on so that's facing, you know, up. And then turn this back 10 degrees. And then turn it back to 90 degrees. And then make some more marks. So I've got to be very careful. Make sure I get all this lined up. Um, so bear with me. So I'm happy with everything how it is. I've just had to be really careful how I take that um, the bolt off on the crank. So what I don't want to do is disturb the pulley and then have to reset it all. Um, 
but it seems to have come off okay. And next up is fitting the timing wheel. Bought this from Burton Power, as you can see. And it will show you where top and bottom dead center is. And basically, I think it's every two degrees on there. Um, so pretty handy. What I'll do is run it round once, back to top dead center, just to make sure that you know it's going where it needs to. I'm getting the same result. I've not getting a couple of degrees out. I will adjust it. I think it's just gone ever so slightly. Um, and then now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to go to 90 degrees before top dead center and uh, mark it all out. Right, so a bit clearer here, that's TDC, that's 90 degrees before TDC, so if I grab my square, I did a quick check, so if I line that up, centre of that, in the centre of that, that is definitely 90 degrees, and obviously TDC is there, so we know that that's, that's before, so TDC would be is in line with that keyway. Next up, and finally, is just remove that tooth. So I'm going to fire up the Dremel, basically just get rid of that, make a neat job of it, and we'll call it a day. I haven't done the timing mark at the back, mainly because there was a bit of slippage. I was worried about a bit of slippage, sorry, which is why I've set it up twice, and getting around there to mark where uh, this thing was, and whatever else with the engine in place was getting problematic. So I think once the short block comes back out, when I um, start to do like rebuilding and things of the engine, that's when I'm going to do that mark. And then this can go off to be um, plated along with some other stuff. So anyway, let's get that tooth knocked out. And that's it. It's done. Um, easier job than I expected. Went a bit quicker than usual. Normally these things end up drawing out for ages. So, very happy. Um, I'll get that fitted back on. I can then put the belt on because what I want, I might do a few other jobs. I don't know. So that's it done. Knocked a tooth out. Quite easy relatively painless um quite happy with how quickly that went and how smoothly it went next up is probably put that pulley back on um because i want to have a look at the i do want to have a look at the alternator potentially because i'm going to need a higher amp one so i need to do some calcs on that um but also i can now start looking at how i'm going to mount the ignition coil so i've got the coil already um, I've got some ideas, but I just need to make a, a bracket, um, and that's kind of it. So I reckon the ignition bracket, um, yeah, but 
relatively easy, straightforward. Uh, give it a try yourself. It would be easier if you've got a trigger wheel that's better mounted than what I've suggested earlier. But quite like this pulley. Um, very happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please, you know, subscribe, get in touch. Um, and I'll be back soon with making some brackets. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.